Today, I've been invited to try out the world's first AI design agent called Love Art. And I'm really excited because this thing is super powerful. It's got over a hundred odd thousand people on the wait list from 70 countries. And what it does is it uses all of the very best AI uh, image and video generators and connects them all up using intelligent agents so that we get ourselves effectively a creative designer at our beck and call and we can just use normal language to describe exactly what we want it to do. So in this video I'm going to show you exactly how it works and give you some fantastic demonstrations of its abilities and underneath this video is a link if you want to give it a try there is just 10 invitation codes as I say this is in beta but believe me this is very very powerful and could be a real game changer for anyone with a startup, a small business, a marketing agency, or anybody who just needs creatives real quick and done to a super high standard. So the first thing I want to do is to actually show you some of these uh, already created designs here, and they are fantastic. So let's take a look at this one here, this Pug Coffee. And well, I'll open it up. And so what it does is just on the right hand side here, you can see the initial prompt that was used to create what I'm about to show you. Eye catching packaging for coffee brands, Pug Coffee with 3D mockups uh, of boxes and bags, six images, three box designs and three bag designs. So now the agent starts going and it's working its way through, coming up with a plan, as you can see on the right here, get design suggestions, um, and then it's saying, I'll help you create eye-catching packaging designs. It's perfect, it's just getting on with the job and doing it. And there we are, look at that. There's the first set of designs that have come in, like three with boxes, three with uh, in packets, just like that. Now, obviously it takes a little longer than that when you're doing it um, yourself. I'm just playing through this pre-done one, but it's still uh, you know, exactly the way it works for you. And I'm going to show you with mine in a minute. So now it's going to design three fun different designs for the packet. I mean, look at the quality of that. That looks 100% real. And it's very, very clever too. You got Pug Coffee morning zoomies, you know, zoomies nickname for dogs who go crazy and run around. Um, so good you'll do laps around the couch. I mean, that's fantastic. Really, really good designs. And this one here, look at that. A Pug Coffee Adventure Espresso. It's done a brilliant job of creating some fun designs. And then now let's move on. And we can see it's designing an entire coffee shop here and all kinds of other different things. Boxes there for like a coffee subscription, mugs, merchandise. The whole lot has been done, even like the inside of the coffee shop there. And what's really good, and we're going to do this when I, I go to my own design, is you can edit all of these images as well. Again, just by telling it what it is that you want. So let's cross off of there. And now let's take a look at mine at the top here. This is something I did. I'm just going to open it up. There we go. Now you get like a design canvas. So everything that's created when you're using Love Art is just put into this huge canvas that you can zoom in and out. And you've got all this kind of freedom here to, to go to each individual item and make some changes. So first of all, what I did was get it to create an entire brand for me and design a logo for a fictitious brand called Com candles and here's the here's the logos that it did look at this really really cool logos and then it asked me I love this one here this was my favorite I think I basically told it that this was my favorite and then from there on it started to create all kinds of different branding for me and uh, you can see it's using chat GPT image there so with regards to the the agents that it's using it uses I've got a whole list of them here let me take a look chat GPT images flux pro open AI 3 which is doing a lot of the work in the background Gemini image gen 3 cling AI halo 01 tripo AI recraft um, rode in runway gen 4 the whole lot are being used to create all of this fantastic content but instead of having all of these different platforms and trying to connect it all together you're just doing it all in this one AI design agent and then scrolling down here you can see it's come up with all of these different logo concepts for me and explained them just there I picked uh, number three as I said I love this design just here that just looks so cool 
And now it goes on and it creates all sorts. And in fact, it's even designed uh, the packaging for it as well. Again, look at this. That looks perfect. Beautiful quality. Uh, I would be absolutely fine to have something like that um, created for me, but it would cost a fortune. If you were to get a design agency to come up with all of this for you and start creating packaging and everything, you are into thousands and thousands of dollars. Whereas, um, you know, with an AI agent like this, you can do it for a few dollars effectively and even created the classic sort of blister pack packaging as well. And better still, uh, this is the thing that I think is really, really cool, is it will literally create a video for you, an advert. So what it did was to come up with all of these concept images just here and then put it together in an advert. And I'm going to show you how it's done this really clever. Look at this. So first of all, it thought about what kind of background music would be good for this. I asked it to create a TikTok video. So it's multimodal, truly multimodal. And it created the uh, theme tune to my advert. Pretty amazing. Next up, it came up with the whole storyboard and then the voice to go with it as well. Listen to this. Welcome to the world of comic candles. Here's a special delivery. Move along, folks. Join the fun. Light up your life. Here's a gift for you. Order your comic candle today. Light up your life with comic candles. Perfect. Uh, and then it put it all together using Kling and created all these mini videos just here. You can see the postman candle delivery and then made an actual video for me out of it just here. There you go. And, and left me with a TikTok ad. So here it is. I'll just press play. Welcome to the world of comic candles. Here's a special delivery. Move along, folks. Join the fun. Light up your life. Here's a gift for you. Order your comic candle today. Light up your life with comic candles. How cool is that? I mean, it is amazing and it was, it's done it all itself. But let's talk about some other really important features because there's things that you might want to change on any one of these images and it can do that um, without any issue at all. So let's just say um, we take this guy here and we're not happy with this particular image, then we get a little bit of um, a menu coming up underneath there like this. So you can select certain things on it like that. So say you wanted to select this area here and I wanted to remove that candle. It's as simple as just telling it. So remove the candle, um, there we go, from the hat and then just press go. And then it, rather than ruin that particular image and kind of change it, it's left that one and then it just creates the duplicate here and then makes the change. That way, you know, you're not potentially losing an image that you might want to use later on. And there we go. It's just taken it off, kept it exactly right, perfect and done the job. And again, uh, you can make other changes too. So if I wanted to, I could go to edit here um, and put make the policeman be riding a bike. There we are. And let's see if it can do that for us. Now, that's obviously a very big change. But this is really handy if you want to keep using the same character all the time and then just have them doing different things. You know, we're in a situation now where we can just describe and say what it is we want to happen and then the AI can get to work and do it for us. This would take a designer ages to come up with this and it's done it in just a few seconds absolutely perfectly. There it is. There is our guy, our policeman riding a bike. Exactly the same person done to perfection. Now, when you click on any of these images, one thing you'll notice, yes, you have some options down the bottom, but also at the top, you can do all of these things too. You can upscale every image. So if you want to really blow this up and print it or something, you might want it in a very high quality, high resolution. You can do that with a love art. Then up there, you can also extend your images out as well and it will expand them. You can remove the background. Let's try that right now. You just click on the image, press remove background, and then that will just get rid of the background. 
I can just grab him and just move him around and he has no background at all. And because we've got this canvas here, we can kind of move it out the way like this and just put it to wherever we want. We can increase the size, shrink it down. I love it. And then in painting is when you can add other things to that image really easily. Now, some other really good features too. Just at the top left here, you can see we've got image generator, video generator. I'm just gonna click on image generator and it will give you the chance to just put in a, a prompt to create any image that you want, but also using a whole bunch of different styles. But first of all, I'm gonna use an image reference and you can either upload your image or you can select it from the canvas. So if we zoom out, because we're on this giant canvas here and we go up to our logo, which was uh, this guy just here. I'm just gonna pick him on his own like that. That is now our image reference. So when we put in a prompt, we're basically saying, look at this image. This is how uh, we want to create things. And then I can choose a style as well if I want to. So we've got all of these uh, crazy different styles here. So I know I could go with, let's say this emoji style icon. Okay, just click it. Yeah. And now you see that it's it's put it in there at the top left for the style. And then I'm going to say, uh, let's do an emoji of this candle. Create an emoji of my Vicar candle. There we are. I can choose low, medium, high quality. And then we've got different sizes of the images as well. We'll keep it at the kind of Instagram. And then you can see how many credits that it's using to do all of this stuff. So it's kind of, you're seeing, you know, pay as you go effectively how many credits that it's using. This is using just uh, eight credits. So really not very much at all and there it is one perfect emoji uh, made to order look at that that looks so cool and then if we zoom out again you'll see it is on the uh, design canvas there for us uh, ready to use whatever we want so you've got all of your design assets and your brand stuff in one convenient place and of course anything that you want you can just right click on the image and then just click download and you can export it as various different things png jpeg sv VG, even change the size right there. So a lot of flexibility when it comes to exporting. So this has been loveart.ai. As I say, there is a link underneath this description with some invite codes. It's in beta, but as you can see already, even at this point, it is pretty fantastic, um, allowing you to create so many creative assets just by using you know the English language. It's very, very impressive. So that's it for this video. I hope you liked it and thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. And I'll see See you in the next one in just a second.